Howdy folks, welcome to episode four. Today we're going to see if we can get this down to the smelter, maybe. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to try. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to come back a little bit here. And maybe instead of going up and down this, we're going to kind of cut this corner a little bit and maybe go across the side. So I want to try that and see if that'll work. So let's demolish our rails here. I guess we have to go back this far, don't we? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go with our, I think it was the the number two let's see and we need to go what is it number <laughs> we need to go yeah we need to go number two now uh we need to to go uh where's the grid our grid is already at one okay that's fine i like that you can hold it down you can hold down the thing and that's totally there we go and can we get away with two? I think we can get away with a two, two percent, right? Okay. So what we want is we want this to come out like this. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to circle mode and we're gonna have it see if we can, which way is it going? Is it going this way? Yeah. I wish you could do degrees instead of radius. You know what I mean? Or do circle mode and... I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but this, this is a little... Because it, it like goes exponential all of a sudden. It's like... Zoop! <laughs> nothing, 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 nothing all of a sudden. You know, because of the relationship there. Um, kind of like a tangent line, right? Uh, anyway, so we're going to go like this... And we're going to try getting a little bit closer here. Okay. Maybe like this. And I guess we're going to want to... I don't want this to be sticking out too far and be really hideous. So we're going to go like this. And then we're going to go with a bridge. Now what's nice is it will actually keep the... Um, which bridge should we do? Maybe we should do the wall here. It's nice that it'll keep, see, it'll keep your settings that you were on. So it's cool because what you can do is you can extend all the way out to here and see what kind of curve do I need to make it match this, right? So if I go like this, what kind of curve do I need to do to get this to come in, you know, like that, right? And then I don't actually have to go all the way out there in order to, to, to keep that curve so it keeps your settings for that so it's kind of cool so what I want to do is is a little bit more it's perfect okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to here let's see I think we're gonna come to out here and then we're gonna place this again whoops <laughs> didn't want to do that let's see if we can get back up here can we get back up there? Of course not. All right. We're going to continue this to over here. See if we can get up this smoother. Yeah. Okay. But we don't need to curve it as extreme this time. So we can bring this in a little bit, right? There we go. And actually, we can bring that in a little bit more even, I think. There we go. All right, and then we want to do that curve again. So we kind of want to just curve this as much as we need to. And then we're going to go like this. Can we go down even more? Let's see where this meets on the corner with a 2% incline. Let's go like this. Because we're going downhill. We can go 3%, right? There we go. And let's see what we need to do. See if we keep if we keep a 2.5, we can even stay right along the edge here. I kind of like that a little bit better. Although I'm kind of thinking the 3 might be better because we're going to need to come around that corner too, aren't we? All right. So let's go like this. Let's go down to 3. 
and we're going to come out to where is that that goes to there okay so we're going to come out to here and then we're going to do a bridge so we're going to go like this and bridges and we're going to do whoops we're going to do the bridges we're going to do the fireproof red that's what we wanted for this section here there we go all right and then let's see what we've got as far as getting this kind of close to the thing but not quite right we want to bring it out a little bit from here because we need room to turn back the other way we don't want to make this a sudden you know a sudden turn and so let's go like this place it there nice that works and then we can go whoops back the other way hopefully <laughs> wow it's gonna take forever isn't it okay what is the what is the uh, gradient not the gradient the um, the grid okay it's plus let's go like this 900 thousand there we go okay so let's go like this let's see what we've got here we want to do like a we want to get around to this corner right here I think is what we want to do so let's bring it out till it gets to this corner maybe if I lean my head just right <laughs> uh, okay I'm kind of I don't know I'm, I'm kind of yeah see because if we if we don't stay on the edge here then we're gonna end up with we're gonna have to go back uphill and all that stuff too so I want to try to go along the edge of this let's go out a little bit more there we go that's beautiful and then we're gonna come out to here Aw, oh, man, did I not do that in... I didn't do it in the right color. Okay, let's get rid of that then. Demolish. And then we're going to... Um, bridges, fireproof red. They need, the, they need to keep the setting on that, don't they? Let's try this again. Can we get the link? There we go, there's the link. All right, let's try this again. We need to bring this down to here. It should keep the same setting, right? Yep. Okay, so we need it to be about here, about out here somewhere, right? There we go. That looks pretty good right there. All right. Yeah, that's, I like that. I'm, I'm satisfied with that. It's not, like I said, I don't want to build sky bridges and this is not really, this is just on the edge of the thing. It's not really a sky bridge. That's interesting. It keeps the thing, but it doesn't keep the color. So you do have to go back in and do that I'm it's still it's still in beta so it's not that big of a deal that it's like that but it's an observation not a complaint right <laughs> okay so I think what we can do is we can come down to here just around just the outside of this right so let's go back like this see I'm kind of thinking that thing needs to not come out that far so it needs to whoops the previous segment needs to not go in so much it needs to to angle out farther and the angle needs to be so about to here right yeah we want to basically make it until it's pointing at can you see the the smelter we want to make it so it's pointing at the smelter so let's try this again we're going to go back to here. We're going to demolish rails. And then we're going to go like this. And then that's going to keep that setting that we had before. Okay. So let's get it so that's pointing at the smelter for the most part. Where's the smelter? 
It's about, yeah, that's about right. Okay, that's what we want to do. So we want to get it. Let's get um, our, why is it all the sudden all the way out there? Let's get our, uh, <laughs> this is crazy. I want it to about there, and then we're going to do, um, There we go, 90 meters, and then we're gonna bring this out not that far. About to here, if we can. It was there was there was a little spot right here. There we go. Okay, that's where we want to go. Let's try this. See what we've got here. Yeah, I think this is gonna work a little bit better. Okay, so we're gonna bring this out to here. It is fireproof red, right? I really hope I got that correct. Okay, and then we want to bring this piece. Can we see it? We need to see it. We need to bring this out more. And it just needs to barely cut around this corner here. So let's bring it out. There. That's beautiful, right there. Over this little thing, right? How's that? I think we can get it to come right up on this. There. So is that going to cut through the... Ah! Oh, that's too bad. That was so close, wasn't it? Okay. So we just need to bring it out a little bit. All right. A couple notches. So we'll go like this. The nice thing is, like I said, the nice thing with this is we still keep the same settings. So we don't have to like try to find, you know what I mean? We don't have to try to guess at the, the spot on the ground where it's gonna land kind of thing. Come on, you can do it, find the link. Find the link, there we go. <laughs> All right, so what we needed to do was, it was just over here. Yeah, this is the spot. So we need to go there. It's beautiful, okay. So that's gonna make it there, and then we're gonna just go to here. And I think we'll come up to here and then start, because we need to start turning more that way again. Why don't we do that when we're about here then, instead of waiting till we're all the way out there. Let's go like this. Hopefully that should cut, that should cut close enough. And then, we're going to go back to this and see how much sharper we can make this turn. Because we want this turn to come back along. Where's that going to go? That's going to go along, go along the side of this. See, there's another layer down there. We might be able to get down to that one and use some of that. I don't know. It might even be worthwhile to just go straight across at one point here. But we'll see. Let's try this again. So this needs to curve like that and then how does that go when it comes out to here try curving it in so that it matches up with this and let's see how it fits with that curve on this oh that's perfect okay so that'll go past this it'll scrape just past it it'll go past this i don't know maybe we should do like one or two ticks out there and then is that going to go through the ground that is going to go through the ground like that. There we go. It's still going to go through the ground. Okay. So what we need to do is we're going to make this scrape by here. And then we're going to widen that curve a little bit. So this is going to come back here. You know, I'm not having the problems I was having before with like it not taking where I wanted it to go. You know, it's it wasn't accepting where <laughs> Where I was trying to click kind of thing. Okay, so we're going to go around this. I love this, that you can adjust this like this, and then it doesn't make really ugly splines when you do it, too. So it'll accept that. And then we're going to go 
over this way to here. Okay, so we just need to to leave some room here to curve past the next one. So we'll go like this. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Instead of going all the way up to the corner, you, you leave your room behind it to approach the corner. See? So then we just need to curve this out a little bit more. Till the tracks are not in the ground. There we go. And then I think what we want to do is we're also going to want to start curving to the other direction anyway. So let's try going like this. I think maybe we can even just go kind of a straight line, huh? Can we do that? Let's go like this. Let's just do a straight line here. There we go. I like that. This bridge is not like going uh, ridiculous, you know, heights and everything like that. Okay. So this is going to curve to our left. See if it's going. Yep. There we go. And we want this to just make it. Oh, look at that. I think we can actually get onto this thing. So if we go onto this thing, then we can go across that. Yeah, I think we might try that and then we can come across, we can come off of this one and head down that way a little bit more. But we can try to come up this, save a little bridge work, right? Like this. And let's go... Is that going to work? Yeah, that'll be nice. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Okay. So we're going to go like this and come up to the groundwork. Nice. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do, I think the stone wall will work best on this. Right? Wow. It, it's a really, it's a really <laughs> okay let's go like this it's a really steep drop there we're going to go like this and then we're going to switch to this we'll see if this will I think that that's what was giving us the whoops that's what was giving us the problems okay so we need to go like there these were the ones that were giving us the problems with trying to lay down the track. And yeah, it's not going to let us do it because that one is too tall. So we need to get... Yeah, see, it's not going to let me do it. It's just those, apparently. All right, let's try this. See, I don't want to use the number three here because it's going to do that ugly thing. So let's try the number two rail. Yeah, I guess we're just going to have to go with the stone wall, aren't we? Or this bridge. Let's do this bridge. Just for this segment here. And let's go like... There we go. Radius is zero. Now the other thing we could do is we could just have a kind of a quick drop, you know, go to 4%, right? What happens if we go to 4%? Or 5%, right? No, it's still not going to do it. Okay. Let's keep it at 3. And so we're going to bring this up to here. Now what we want to do is we want to put this so that this, this can come in line, and then we're going to change the angle again. So we're going to go like this, and then we'll go back. Can we hook it on there? Is it going to let us anchor it. I saw the, there it is. <laughs> like I saw the thing. Okay. And then we want this to go to go like this. That'll work. 
Actually, yeah, see, if we came down, then it wouldn't have fit there anyway. Okay. And then we want to go... Whoops. Let's try... Huh. Okay. Apparently a zero radius is a pretty big difference, isn't it? But it looks like that's still going to fit. Okay. No, that's what we want. We want that zero. We're going to go like this. We're going to come up here. Can. And do more of this. Okay. So let's see how this looks on the other side here. Uh, we're going to have to come up, aren't we? Well, that sucks. I didn't want to do that. Let's see. What percent do we have to come up? A 2%? 2% up? Whoops. That's 2% up. That's 1% up. Okay, that's weird. That's really weird. Zero. Incline zero, and yet it does that. I don't know what it's doing, but it looks like it's going to work. So I'm not going to complain, and we're not going to look up gift horse in the mouth. And we'll go this way. Let's go like this. And we're going to start curving this as much as we can this direction. As much as we can get away with in this direction. It's starting to look pretty good. Yeah, like that. Cool. We're going to go like that. And then I think we'll go back to our red. Should we go back to our red? Let's, let's go down here and look for a minute. So this is going to come up a little bit. And then it's going to go like this. I think this is actually just going to fall. Because we're not that far from the... Yeah, see, we're not that far from the... The whatchamacallit. So I think if we follow this down here... Yeah, we can go over the waterfall. I think that's what we'll do. All right, we're going to do that. We're going to go over the waterfall. So we're going to follow this down. We're just going to follow the contour of the land then from here. So we'll use the dirt pieces. And this one, I think, needs to be updated a little bit here. Let's go like this. We're going to go... I'm going to try this wall here. There we go. I think that'll work. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay. So we're going to bring the wall up to about here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start using the... Um, we're going to start using this if we can. Just the grade. Because I think that will... See, it's going to stick out a little bit there. But we'll see what we can do here as far as what we can get away with. Let's do the uh, options. Graphics. Foliage low. Back. Continue. All right. Let's see what we've got. Our incline is zero. And it looks like it's going to stay. I think maybe we should go up just the tiniest bit, right? 0.5. And then we can stay at zero from here. I just want to make sure that it's going to work. Yeah, okay. So we want to be on about that line. So let's come up to here. And then we're going to connect. We're going to bring our incline back down to zero. And then this is going to go like this. We want this to line up. I think we'll go a little bit sharper here. And then we want to start, we need a new section so that we can start going downhill again. There we go. I think 3% was what we were doing before. can make this match <laughs> all right it's so weird it does that with the okay all right we're just gonna do like like that then we're gonna go like 
this. And then we're going to do... There we go. That looks like it's keeping the grade, doesn't it? Is it keeping it? Yeah, I think it is. All right, so we can go like this. Is that going to stick out the side? It's not going to stick out the side of the hill? Okay. I just don't want it sticking out the side of the hill. So we're going to go like this. And then we're going to switch back to the wall so that we don't go over this. And I'm kind of thinking maybe we should cut this corner. If we cut that corner, will it... I'm thinking this is going to be longer. I think that'll let us go at a shallower grade. Now, I think we'll just follow this. We're just going to follow this, whatever it is. And we'll try to... Uh, maybe we can go up to four. Or five. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we've got here. We want to get this to about as sharp as we can get away with, right? I'm not sure if we want to go inside of this hill and follow it. Yeah, I think we can follow that. That train can follow that curve right there. That's not too bad. Okay, so we're going to bring this up to here. And then we'll connect to here. You know, the, really, the there's only one step that beyond this that would improve it, and that's being able to visualize, like, visibly see the spline points themselves and just drag them around, like, move them along on the map, both horizontal on all three axes, you know, horizontally and vertically, using, like, the arrow keys or whatever. Um, that's basically the only way you could really improve this process. But they've got it, they've got it, they've done a good job. They've gotten it down to a good thing here. So we're going to go like this and bring it back a little bit. And can we sit it there? There we go. And then we're going to go the other way. Oh, we need to do this. Let's see what radius gets us around here. Go back to one. See what gets us around this corner. 97. So we need to make that corner right there. All right. We need to be able to make that corner and then do a little bit more here. And then we should be able to start about right here. I think. Let's see what we get. Maybe we need to do a little bit more. Okay. Let's get this a little bit sharper. And then we're going to turn it around the other way. And we need to go like this. See what we've got here. What'll get us around this corner? There we go. And I think that'll get us to where we. Yeah, that'll get us about to where we need to go. Okay, so right up about here, and then we can start straightening out again. Kind of, right? Because we kind of want to go like this, and then curve it back. Okay, yeah. Let's go like this. I think I'm getting the hang of this. And then we're going to go back this way, so we need to go... Let's see what we can get. 
Ooh, that looks like it's going to work. Okay, so we can do this. We'll come up to 4%. Let's go like this. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to come up to 3% here. Because I think this is going to be... Yeah, it looks like it's going to level out at 3%. Okay, cool. So we'll bring this up so that we don't have to... There we go. I really should it'd be nice to have markers on here. So you can tell where your grade changes. Okay. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to come straight here. Whoops. And we need to go like this. We're going to come straight out to here. Something like this. About back here. There we go. What would be cool too is if you had an information tool and you could point it and it would highlight whatever segment you're pointing at and tell you the information that's up on the construction menu. It would tell you, oh yeah, this segment is at this mu this much curve and this percent grade or something like that, you know. Okay, so we're going to get to where it's going to curve this way. I think we can do this. And then we're going to curve back the other way. We need to do this. There we go. See what'll get us around this corner. That's pretty close. <laughs> That's cutting it pretty close. I like it. I like it maybe even just a little bit less of a... Yeah, there we go. A little bit less of a curve. So then we're going to want to come up to here we're basically going to want to line up with this area right here so we want this to come around to about there and then I think what we can do is we can switch to this one and let's go like where is it there it is okay Let's try this. We need to get this to come right around to here. That's just about perfect, isn't it? Okay. We're going to do to about there. And then we're going to lay this segment and we're going to start going around this corner. maybe a little bit less there because we need to come around to up here yeah we kind of need to come around this corner so we're gonna go like that that's much better nice sweeping corner right There we go. And then we're going to go back to our left. And I think we're going to have to come up a little bit, aren't we? Okay. So we're going to come back to our left. And then we're going to go up a little bit. That is connected, right? Yeah. We're going to go up a little bit. Let's go back to this and we're going to go up zero. Is that going to make it? Yeah, that'll make it. Okay. And then what we want to do is we want to basically be at, yeah, that's pretty much the curve, isn't it? If you look at it, that's pretty much the curve we want. We're going to go a little bit more this way. 
about like that because we want to be able to go in front of this. Let's walk up here and see if we can point it the right spot. We want this to come right in front of this piece right here. Can it? There we go. Does it not want to point at that? Bring this out a little bit wider. Is it going to do it? <laughs> Come on. There it goes. But it doesn't want to let me see what's going on there. Okay. So yeah, we need a couple more. Oh, look, it'll let me adjust that while I'm looking from here. I think that's going to be over it. Oh, that's like perfect, isn't it? That's pretty much what we want. Okay. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, we're going to lay that there. We're going to use that curve. And then we're going to come up to the edge here and then switch to a bridge. So let's do this. Oh, is it not going to let me do this over here? Oh, I need to go up hill a little bit more. Okay. Whoops. Uphill a little bit more. That's all I needed to do. Okay, so we're going to go like this. And then we're going to do the wall here. Our radius was still going to be the same. And our incline is going to be zero. We don't want our incline to be way up there. And then a bridge is going to start right here at the edge of this. It almost feels like I'm leaning. Am I leaning to the left or the right or something? <laughs> you know what I mean? It feels like the way the way I'm pointing at this is is backwards or something. Okay, so let's go back to our fireproof red. I think we're going to keep that theme for this segment of track here. We could probably even make this come downhill in order to... match and we could make this there we go how about like that make this go through here and then what angle do we want that we want that to basically stay at this angle is it going to let me I don't think it's going to let me put it here is it Oh man, it's not going to let me put it there. <laughs> After all this, I finally found the spot where it doesn't want me to put a piece of track. Okay. Can we maybe... Oh, you know what it is? It's the bottom there. Okay, so we are at negative 146 is our radius. Remember that. So what we're going to do is we're going to put groundwork on here groundwork there we go all right let's try that and we'll see if that'll work and maybe it'll even keep our settings for our bridge bridge fireproof red yeah cool it kept our settings I'm not sure if it's going to get us there. I might need to move the groundwork again. Let's see. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. And then we can go... Whoops. We need to re-select this again. Let's see what we can do here. So this bridge needs to come across to right here. Yeah, I think that's our that's our point. Go like this. That's our stopping point basically there is 271. 270. Yep, that's perfect. 270 will get us where we want to go. And then we're going to come down. Should we come down a little bit? Yeah, we need to we need to start dropping. We need to start dropping some some altitude here. 
it looks like it's going to let up let us place it here two two percent I'm not sure if it's going to let us put it here but let's see can we get right on the edge here I want to get on the edge I just don't want to be because the side of the train is going to hit the yeah it's not going to let me put it there okay so we need to get another again we need to put groundwork down here groundwork Let's go like this it won't let me put it all the way across All right, we're going to go like that. I think that'll fit. Let's see if it'll let us do it now. Whoa, I almost went over. Okay, so bridge, fireproof red. <laughs> it just fell off the back. No, not all the way down there. No. Okay. <laughs> all right. See if it'll let me put this bridge. Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll end it about here. There we go. And then we can change our curve from there. So we're going to go like this. And we need this to be a little bit sharper. Right? Is it not? What's it doing? There we go. Okay, yeah. Get this a little bit sharper here. And I'm curious to see... Let's see what a 3% down will get, a, get us over here. I just want to see what 3% is going to do for us in a straight line. Right? So let's go... that yeah see we're gonna definitely we're gonna need to go a lot more all right I don't think we're gonna have time to finish all this up so that is going to be it for episode four join me in episode five we will continue our way down to the smelter and I think we should be able to get there pretty easily and then probably try to build our uphill thing back up there too but yeah that's gonna be it for episode four join me in episode five and we'll see you then later